on over. I'm Chris, a recovering Yankee living in the South. If having company for coffee, dinner, or even a last minute popover sends you into a fit of panic, I can show you a few tips for being a great host or hostess anytime, day or night. So tune in, take notes, and learn to be fearless in saying, come on over. I am the luckiest girl in the world because I live with my own bartender. This is my husband, Jimmy, and he loves to put together cocktails for me. Tonight, we're going to go over three signature cocktails that we serve. Now, you could have anywhere from three to five to ten cocktails that you love to make. We're going to show you three different kinds in three different levels, and we're going to start with the champagne cocktail. So let's tell them what you do. Yeah. So basically, I take uh, some cranberries and usually about three or four cranberries per glass. Put them in the bottom for? Put them in the bottom first. For you put the cranberries in first so you don't splash um, when the glasses are full. And it's pretty. And it's beautiful, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, great, um, this is a great holiday drink or any day drink, really. Then I pour them about halfway full of champagne. And, you let and it... I will add a little bit more to this one. Why not? Right. And a little bit more to this one. And so uh, now what's never... so pretty is the, the floating cranberries. That's so pretty. Yes. Okay. So then we take cranberry juice and we put half and half. So you have half cranberry juice, half champagne. You have your beautiful cranberries in there. And? And it is cocktail time. Cocktail time. Another of our favorite drinks to serve our guests, and really each other, is the gin and tonic. A lot of people don't like gin, or they think they don't like gin. In fact, we've had guests tell us, I don't really like gin, and I'll say, you need to try Jimmy's gin and tonic because it's better than any restaurant I've ever had. We don't know why, made with love? Made with love. Who knows? Yes. So this is a very fast, quick, and easy drink to make. You want to tell them why? Absolutely, yeah. So a lot of times my wife will call me five minutes before she's home and said, what is the bar open and what are we serving? And I'm like, a gin and tonic. So this is a quick, easy drink to make, have ready at the door, and I'll go over it real quick. So basically you start out with ice. And I usually put about halfway through Halfway up to the glass. Take that stir. And that's really important how much ice you have. It in really here. is, yeah. Yeah, because you want to leave room for the gin and tonic. <laughs> right. So, the most important parts of the exactly. gin and tonic. Yes. So how much are you putting in here? So then I will usually put in one full shot of gin. And today we're using a new gin that I just purchased and I on my drink, I will usually put another half shot. He likes a little bit of a stronger a little bit of flavor. extra drink. I like it a little sweeter, so it's, it works out. Okay, So then Next. you add the tonic. Diet tonic. We actually use diet tonic because we are kind of calorie conscious, but you can use regular tonic. And then this is a cocktail Just a lime, a touch right? of cocktail lime. And normally I would stir this with a spoon. <laughs> But tonight, my we're wife has made me use an actual stir. <laughs> so, which we're getting fancy. <laughs> All right, here we go. It smells great. That's too. good gin. It's good. Very it's good gin. Tastes good. Smells yes. great. Perhaps one of our most requested cocktails is a martini called the Jimmy. There's a reason for that. We went to a restaurant and we ordered this cocktail and it was just fantastic. And we called the bartender out and we asked them, how do you make this? And it was this process and we decided to experiment, experiment with the process and we finally nailed it. So here's what we did. We infuse our own vodka with, is it habaneros? Habaneros. Normally we would take about four or five habaneros, slice them up, take the seeds out, Put them into the vodka. I personally love Hero's Vodka, one of my favorites. 
We would put that in a dark place for approximately two to three weeks. And then I would sample it to make sure we have the right heat. Because we and have had it too strong and we, we about have, choked to death. We've had to dilute it, so, we've had to, yes. So it's a sweet and spicy martini combined. So that's the vodka. Then it calls for a mint simple syrup. So a simple syrup is one part water, one part sugar. So you would do one cup of water, one cup of white sugar, you boil it, you let it set, it infuses together and you have a simple syrup. To make a mint simple syrup, you just add a cup of mint leaves to that when you're boiling it, and then you have a mint simple syrup. So it's a one, one, one. One cup of water, one cup of sugar, one cup of fresh mint leaves. This is golden. It's it's very important. To very have the important. mint, you can use simple syrup, but if it's not the mint, you can tell the difference. Changes it. No doubt. The other part is this juice. It is a passion fruit juice. Now we've tried other juices, not the same. It really needs to be the passion fruit juice. We can get away with a different juice, it's just not as good. You can get away with simple syrup, it's just not as good. Right. So we found the best combination is the infused vodka, the mint simple syrup, the passion fruit juice. So this is what we call a 411 drink. Do you want to tell them what that means? Absolutely. Yeah, the 411 is you use four ounces of the Welch's passion fruit, and I will go ahead and pour that into the How much uh, shaker. Have? So we have the shaker about halfway full. And I love to use the glass shakers. It's glass, you can see where the liquid's mm -hmm. at, easier to shake. So we're gonna do four ounces of the passion fruit. And we're, since we're mixing two, I'm gonna go ahead and put eight ounces of passion fruit. Mm -hmm. Then we will use 411 means four ounces to one ounce to one ounce. Since we've put eight ounces in there, we're gonna put two ounces of the Habanero Unfused Heroes Vodka in here. And a lot of times I will go a little bit over the two he ounces. Does sometimes. It just, you yeah. know, that seems to be why maybe it's the most requested drink we have. <laughs> then you do the two ounces of simple syrup. You're doing 411. We've done uh, eight ounces of the- Juice. Juice. We've done two ounces of the vodka, and we've done two ounces of the mint simple syrup. Mint syrup simple and syrup. now the best part. Shaken, not stirred. Give it a little shake, and you don't not really stirred. have to shake it a whole lot. Just enough to get everything mixed up really good. Now, you wanna tell them about the cucumbers? Oh, that will, yes. So, Part of enjoying a really good drink is what you see, what you taste, and what you smell. So this drink is beautiful to look at because it's this wonderful juice color. The taste is phenomenal. It's both sweet and shockingly spicy at the end. And the smell comes from the cucumber. And you might think, well, what does a cucumber smell like? It smells very fresh, very fresh. We have served it without the cucumber, not the same. So you can, if you don't have a cucumber on hand, that's okay. But you really want it for both beauty and smell. smell. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is that, well, that's, all, that's all you're giving me? That's it, yes. <laughs> He's so, got me a tight the, leash tonight. The cucumber goes in. All right, and? Mm. Oh, that is good. Very good. So, you get the, the wonderful fragrance of the cucumber up front and the juice, which is sweet, but then that habanero in the back. hits the back of your throat and you just think, oh my word, what on earth? Mm. That might be one of my best ones. It might be. Yeah. This is, uh, we serve this as an appetizing cocktail. Having a cocktail before your dinner or even having a cocktail hour is a really fun thing. And just about anybody can do it. It is nice to have the appropriate glassware for that, but if you don't, just go ahead with it anyway. Mm -hmm. Because you know what makes someone's day? You know what makes someone feel special? A special Meeting cocktail. somebody at the door with one of these. Special. Cocktail. Yes, very special. Oh, we're done. Oh, we'll close. <laughs> yes, nice. See, that easy. Did it, for one take? For, yeah, listen. Johnny Depp and Keanu Reeves don't get one take, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we need a stir stick, not the back of a spoon. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's a rookie mistake. Come on over. 
Now go make someone feel special today.